Imagine stepping into a time machine and watching the world change before your eyes through the lens of fashion, from corsets and top hats to trainers and hoodies. Fashion has always been a reflection of society, culture and the times. In the next eight minutes, we're going to take you on an exhilarating journey through the last 124 years of fashion, showing you how what we wear has evolved and why it really matters. Are you ready to explore the past, present and future of style? Let's dive into it. Welcome to our fashion journey. From the turn of the century to the digital age, fashion has been a powerful medium of self-expression and creativity. As we explore each era, we'll uncover key trends, the cultural influences that shape them, and how these styles still influence what we wear today. We begin in the 1900s, a time of elegance and formality, known as the Edwardian era. For women, this meant focusing on the hourglass silhouette achieved through S-bend corsets that created that dramatic curve at the waist. Men's fashion was equally formal in those times, with frock coats, waistcoats and bowler hats. Fashion during this period was about showcasing wealth and status, with detailed craftsmanship and luxurious fabrics. The Roaring Twenties The 1920s bought the Roaring Twenties, an era of rebellion against the norms of the past. Women's fashion took a dramatic turn. Flapper dresses, shorter hemlines, bobbed hair and looser, more androgynous silhouette became all the rage. This was the era of jazz, nightlife, and the celebration of youth and freedom. Men embraced a more relaxed style too, with baggy trousers, two-toned shoes, and sleek, tailored suits. The 1920s showed that fashion could also be fun, liberating and a powerful symbol of social change. Fast forward to the 1940s, a time marked by World War II and the aftermath. Fashion during the war was practical and restrained. Women wore utility clothing with simple lines and minimal embellishments. While men's fashion was predominantly dominated by military wear, however, the post-war period brought a dramatic change. In 1947, Christian Dior introduced the new look, which reintroduced femininity and luxury into women's fashion with cinched waists, full skirts and opulent fabrics. This era signals a return to glamour and a rejection of wartime austerity. The swinging 60s. The 1960s was a decade of revolution, cultural, socially and of course in fashion. The mod look became iconic with clean lines, bold patterns and miniskirts. The 60s forever changed how fashion was seen, not just as clothing, but as a powerful form of personal and political expression. The 1980s, bold, brash, and all about excess. Fashion in this decade was larger than life. Oversized blazers, shoulder pads, and neon everything. It was a time where style was bold, loud and unapologetically extravagant. On one hand, you had the power suit, symbolizing ambition and success in the corporate world. On the other, punk fashion, with its ripped jeans, leather jackets and spiked hair, challenged the status quo. The 80s was a decade of contrast, and above all, it was about making a statement. 2000 ushered the digital age, and with it, a new wave of fashion influenced by technology and pop culture. Y2K fashion was defined by low-rise jeans, crop tops, and tracksuits, heavily influenced by celebrities and the rise of reality TV. This era also saw the beginning of street style, where fashion was no longer solely dictated by fashion designers, but by what was trending online or on the streets. Finally, we arrive in the 2020s, where fashion is more diverse and dynamic than it ever has been. Today, fashion is not just about aesthetics, it's about values. Sustainability has become a key focus, with brands and consumers alike embracing eco-friendly materials and ethical practices. We're also seeing a blend of old and new, with vintage styles making a comeback alongside futuristic tech-driven designs, making fashion a truly global and interactive experience. As we've seen, fashion is much more than clothes. It's a reflection of who we are, where we've been and where we're going. From the formality of the Edwardian era to the digital influence of today, each decade has left a mark on how we express ourselves through what we wear. So here we come to an end. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to my channel for future content, toggle that notification bell, and do let me know in the comment section which part you liked most and any topics that you'd like me to create future videos on. I would love to have a bit of an insight into what you guys enjoy and what you would like me to continue creating. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll see you on my next video.